Okay, so we've set up our spot. We've got our wonderful cottages and river subjects for us. Fantastic paper, this lovely soft paper that we're going to be working on, this watercolour paper, and our art materials. Now the nitram charcoal choice today ranges from the really wide sticks to the very narrow ones and the assorted range which is also comes in conjunction with the new nitrum stylus. The nitrum stylus will give us the option to do really precision mark making techniques as well as being broader in the way we draw. So I'm going to take you through a range of those products right now and then we're going to make a start. So this is the new product from Nitram, their brand new Nitram Stylus. A fantastic product actually because it's third generation from other holders they've had but this is the one for me which certainly doesn't feel like it can be improved on at all. We can now show you how we will insert our chosen charcoal for which we're going to begin drawing with. Okay, so here's the stylus. What we're actually going to do with this is insert the charcoal straight away within. You can see if we push it all the way to the end. Then if we tighten the jaw, it keeps the charcoal absolutely rigid within the main frame of the stylus. Pop the end cap on so we know which soft media we're using, which hard and soft charcoal, and now we're ready to sharpen it. To sharpen the nitram charcoal itself to the most exquisite points, I'm actually using their product which is the nitram paddle or the nitram sharpening block. What I'm doing here is collecting the dust as well in this container because we'll, that's useful to us. Nothing with the nitram ever gets wasted. Okay, here's our first. An absolutely exquisite point to be able to work with. I love the foreground dominant oak tree. Now beautiful British oak there. And you can see how the using the nitron stylus in different ways working both from the wrist and the elbow we can do some very expressive free drawing Nitron produce a range of charcoals that's unique to the world of charcoal. This is one of them, their 15 millimeter block, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. that. You can draw with that exactly as it is. But what I tend to do is I tend to break and snap mine just simply because I like shorter lengths too. And those I'm going to show you how useful they are for drawing the roof section of these cottages. You can see here what I've done with mine is pre-sharpen the edges and I'm using it in a crosshatch manner, dragging a lovely side and using the edges to create the tile section of the roof. It's also very useful for using, when it's sharpened like this, to feel the extra branches coming across the scene from all these trees. You can see how quickly nitram charcoal, uh, both hard and soft, and a range of them, allows you to build up the foundation of your uh, mixed media painting really, really quickly. Having built the foundation, we're now going to use these uh, acrylic inks and also Parker Quink ink to put extra washes on because charcoal is beautiful to be used with other products, especially inks. So that's our next stage. Start with dilute quink ink and it has this lovely ability to be able to split and do different things in tone when you start to draw with it. If we add more, it will create a denser mark. If you create less or use the brush open, 
it creates more of a tint. See how it works beautifully with the nitram. Fabulous. Washes are done with those inks. Back now to doing some more linear drawing with the fusians and our uh, nitrum stylus. Right, we're using different fusions at the moment of hard and soft. Nitrum create charcoal like pencils that go from very hard to very soft. And these fusions are a little bit harder. The red one here, you can see, and it's beautiful how you can get very, very fine details with this pre-sharpened point. And then we're going to switch and use the blue one over here, color toned, slightly softer, which is lovely. Beautiful big piece of nitron charcoal. Again, another piece unique to the charcoal world is this fantastic chunky stick of nitrum soft charcoal that can bounce across the surface like that, producing a very, very unique mark maker. Time to use velvety pastels with the velvety charcoals. So you can get a combination of beautiful marks together, look, using the edges, washes, charcoal, great in combination. Half turns now within the painting. Now what we're actually going to do is use fixative to deliberately darken certain areas and therefore when we increase the depth of that you'll have a real three-dimensional look to your painting. Start here, really deepen these and these areas around the cottage, particularly in the river. Creates a dry surface on which we can actually then apply further marks of charcoal and pastel combos. So I'm really pretty happy with today's uh, outdoor study here in this beautiful location using a whole variety of our nitron charcoals. You can just see how wonderful and three-dimensional this is. The only thing we need to do now is put one or two final marks on with the really really sharp fusions and then we have a completed outdoor study. Okay so we started with the stylus and we're going to end with the stylus. This time it's loaded with the five millimeter B fusion and you can see it's perfect for just adding those last touches of detail. Great, so there's our finished painting. If you're interested in Nitron products, just follow this link that we're going to give you now to their website. Everything is there for you to buy and choose from. Brilliant products, great creativity awaits.